one of the students threw a juice bottle out of the bus. Why some crazy guy jumped out in the road and said, stop the bus. He wrenched open the doors of the bus while oh. the bus was stopped at a red light. Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be reacting to a channel called Cop Cam Nation. And I just found this channel. Looks like they have some pretty good videos. But the video we're reacting to today is called Angry Man Jumps Onto Moving School Bus, The Aftermath. Let's check it out. You've seen the memes, but have you watched The Aftermath? You might have seen this clip floating around the internet of an angry old man clinging to the front of a moving school bus while pounding on the hood, but you haven't seen Lee Vern Duran tell his side of the story or how he handled it after being confronted by the police. All right. Well, finally, over six years later, we have the footage right here. I've never seen the video. Uh, this is my first time seeing uh, even him on the, on the bus, let alone the rest. Here, just for you. She said, unlock the door. Open the door. Get off the bus. Is that the sign for cops? Good, you call No. Okay, this guy can use his horn. Get off the bus. That's actually dangerous. He should have stopped driving. <laughs> he should have just keep driving. But, uh, all right, let's see how this goes. Minutes after 911 was called. Let's check it out. Good. I'm not complaining. Is it complaining? What happened? Coming down the road, the bus was beside me. One of the students threw a juice bottle out of the bus. I got out. I stood in front of the bus and stopped. The gentleman grinned, shook his head no, and proceeded to try to run me over. Okay, so a kid threw a bottle out of the bus. I think there was stuff thrown from every bus I was ever on. It doesn't make it right, I'm just saying. I don't know that it was a big a deal. 50, 5091 is the bus number. 5091. Out there is where he tried to run me over. He came down the road, came up the road, and came down here and stopped at the red light. Oh, yeah, they're right here. I tried to get him to stop again. That's why I'm so upset. I'm upset that one of the students so threw you, the bottle you, and hit the windshield. Didn't break it. You threw the bottle, hit the windshield, didn't even break the windshield. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't be upset, but I'm not saying you got to ride on the front of a bus for that. You stood in front of the bus and tried to prevent it from moving? Say again? You stood in front of the bus and tried to prevent it from moving? Did I find the bus? I read Did you stand in front of the bus and try to prevent it from moving? You're the bus? Stop. So you stood he in front of the bus and tried to run me. He shook his head no. No. And proceeded to run me uh. over. Try to run me over. Would not open the door. Would maybe, not talk to me. You think that's the perfect thing to do is to step in front of a bus? I, the children are on board instead of when you get in the bus number and calling the police? Yeah, if I'm the bus driver, you're definitely not getting on this bus. Especially if you're angry. But I don't know if the right thing to do is just drive around town with him on the hood. I've never had this kind of incident before in my life. The gentleman right there, the bus driver, is responsible for the behavior of students on his bus. So call the police, man. Okay. I'm not do you have your license on you, sir? Sir? you have your license on you? 925. Yes, I do. I'll give you my name. Yeah, can I see it? Yeah. Do you know what the bus number was? Where'd the bus go? 5091. He he, he went around the block again and came past here, went down the road again. All right, do me a favor. Just don't move up and pull some knife out of your pocket. Oh. Okay. He got a knife. He got a knife. I'm not going to do anything with that thing. So okay. this, I wasn't like this until after. Were you driving or were you walking? I was driving. Which one's your car? Which one? The silver one? Yep. It hit the windshield. Is there any debt? Is it almost dead time? back on the road. Oh, 928. Uh, yours is because you okay. Run the weight of it. It was half full. Okay. There's no damage to your vehicle right now? I don't see any cracks. So what's the big deal? I'm upset that the gentleman tried to run me over. Then the kids put on the bottom. I just wanted to fuss that and say, you need to be on more control of these kids that are on the bus. He's trying to tell him how to control the kids when he can't even control himself. 
Did you see uh, who what, who threw the bottle? No, I didn't. All I saw was coming out the window. Oh, well, okay. That's what I saw. Okay. Right. right now we're trying to get a hold of the bus to figure out what their side of the story is. And then the bus driver didn't even call the cops. <laughs> tried to run me over. I stuffed that one to the bumper and held one to the mirror. I'm off. Was the bus driving with you on the hood? After he tried to run me over, I climbed up on it and he kept on moving. And he kept driving with you on the hood? <laughs> and I'm yelling, stop, call the cops, call the cops, stop. And he just grinned and kept on going. And where did you get off the bus? Right here. This is the only place he stopped. So he drove from Putty Hill Avenue to the neighborhood? Yep. Yes. Okay, did he stop at all? He drove from there all the way up. How did he get his car back? Without stopping. Just after jumping over the car, over the bus. So I didn't get run over, yes. He tried to run me over. When, when the bottle came out of the Why didn't you just go shield, I stopped. step sideways? <laughs> got out, and <laughs> him saying stop, <laughs> gave a grin, and started to move. I climbed on the bumper because I didn't get run over. I don't know the bus. I don't know the school. I held on all from there. He made a left hand turn, came down, made a right hand turn, came down, made a right hand turn, and stopped here because of the red light. This is one of the two sides of the story. So, yeah, he's going to say that I jumped in front of his truck. Well, I understand. I, I understand. Hey, if that guy's offering up this information, the cop needs to let him talk. Like he's gonna, he was about to say, I understand. The guy's gonna say I did everything that I did. A B C D. I'm gonna talk. Okay. Flip side is this: he may not have had knowledge of this kid from the bottom. He's driving the bus intentionally in front of him. I'm just being that devil's advocate. That I can understand. Now, put yourself in his shoes. He's driving the bus. He's responsible for these kids in the bus. Him not knowing you or your reason how yeah. you approach him. Why some yeah. crazy guy jumped out in the road and said, Stop the bus. <laughs> That's insane. Every man gets on the bus, jumps on the bus. No, 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 no. I you went to the door that he opened to let the students in and out. I'm knocking on the door. Open the door. No. Hell no. Hell no. I'm knocking on the door. I just open the door. Oh. He said, no. so I went Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. I'm just said stop. I wanted to talk to him. I understand that. Listen. I just sat down here, so I don't have it. I'm not opening the door, and I doubt me anybody else trying to open the door for somebody who didn't know. No, I ain't opening that door. For an unknown reason. When now, hindsight. Let me finish up. Go ahead. Hindsight 2020. That's why we're all here talking it out now. He did not know at the time. What's going on? I'm assuming he didn't know. He just the bus. So your actions you know, and his vote. You know, you're assume me. Right. Your actions and his actions. You're the only one looking like an ass right now, buddy. <laughs> That's what we're trying to sort out. Right? You understand what the word assume means? Yeah. I heard the word and used a great time before. Okay. Then you gentlemen need to leave. Stand by. Go ahead. If any of you guys need to leave, go ahead. I'm the complaint. I'm the one that he tried to run over. You called, and they called, and a bunch of other people called. Just because you called. What if this was a school bus right here? He just whips in. Okay, sir. Go ahead. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Wait a minute. I'm getting rid of my wallet. Uh, I'm uh, not, put your hands I behind am, your back. Follow instructions. I am not following. I'm not fighting you. Yes, you Let are. Go. Wait, wait. Let go. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let go, sir. Let go. I want to hand my wallet to my wife. That's what I'm going to do. We will take care of that. No, you're not going to go in your pocket, sir. We'll get you for you. We will take care of that. You cannot go in your pocket. Let me tell my wife that you are arresting me. She's about to find out. She cannot hear. She's deaf. I believe that she actually is deaf because he was signing, uh, call the cop, call the cop. So he, it looked like sign language that he was doing. So he probably, uh, she probably actually is deaf. Okay. Calm down, sir. Calm yeah. down. Calm now, down. Listen, we'll do everything you want. Just, just... Now, again, just I'm not relax. fighting you. I'm asking sure. you to listen to me. If you keep going, you're going to be charged with resisting arrest. Let, okay, put your no, hands sir, behind your back. No, sir, I am not your hands behind your back, boy. I am not You have to push your hands behind your back. Please, I am We're putting asking. my hand there. Okay. Okay. Ow, just relax. Look, sir, look. look. See I'm, that? Okay. That's from okay. the bus push, driver. Push your hands behind your back. That's from you, standing on the hood. Okay, uh, solve it in. 
No, it's just it's just disorderly, sir. They got a witness saying that you jumped on the bus during the start of the up on the hood. He started moving, okay. then I got on the bus. All right, well, the rest, now it's up to the judge. We're getting... I am not a thief. I am not... Nobody said you're a thief, bro. Fighting you. Hey. Sir, you're going from here to the point, okay? They have phone call services where this guy can call a service that then video chats with his wife that will tell her whatever he says in sign language. So, I mean, unfortunately, it's a hard way to communicate, but, you know, it's not the officer's fault that this wife is, um, you know, deaf. So they got to treat him as any other person. You know, if they, if they were arresting her, they would probably have... Uh, you know, more flexibility with uh, making it easy for her because she actually is impaired. But this guy's not impaired, and it's not their job to let him walk around uncuffed to be able to tell her something. You know, he's a pretty big dude, somewhat dangerous. The back seat of them cars is small. Okay. That's me, I know. He's being respectful now, you know. Give me a peek around that bench. Okay. Once I get these on, I can take your handcuffs off, okay? I honestly don't need them, friend. I understand why you're doing it, but I honestly don't need them. You have to, man. Just need to uh, search you again and make sure you don't have anything on you. Just go ahead and stand up and turn around and put your hands on the wall. You can have a seat again. Okay, if I stand. I'd rather you sit, please. Uh, What's that? Yeah, uh, there. Oh, go back here. I'm just reading. Oh, you're asking for trouble is what you're doing. I told you what I was doing. Okay, come back here. Have a seat. He tried to cut you a break. He's delivering children right now to their homes. You won't get any answer questions. I answer questions. I'm asking you one. Well, Why that was stupid of you. You should not have answered any questions. He's the one that tried to run me over. Okay. Our investigation determined differently, okay? What? Our investigation determined differently. Your investigation what? Determined differently. <clears throat> Let me get you over here and get your process real quick. You have a seat there. Sounds like the officer's wearing Let me a mask. Get you to stand up. You're gonna stand with his boxes on the floor and look up at the camera. I don't know if he is, but it sounds like it's muffled. Okay, turn the face that way. All right, you come on over here. Start with your left hand. Fingerprints. I'm gonna go complete your paperwork. As soon as I'm done that, I'll probably take you down to the bail hearing. Okay. Paperwork, what? Then we'll go down to, to the courthouse to see the commissioner for the bail hearing. Hi. Hello, thank you. Hey, thank you. I grew up in a small town. If you got arrested like on Friday, you had to stay till Monday. They didn't, you didn't even get to see court. Now they'll just do it through Zoom calls or like, it looked like it was dark and they were gonna go hold his court right then as soon as he come in. I guess it's just a quicker way for them to get money and get people out of there. So you saw what happened earlier? Yeah. yeah. Right. What did you say? I noticed all the traffic was stopped and this man came around the side of the school bus and he was yelling and he jumped up on the school bus and he started pounding on the windshield and he said, open the door, open the door. It turned real slow and he was still yelling, yelling and laying, he was laying on the whole bus like this and he was hanging on and pounding on the windshield. And I saw there were kids in the car and they were like, ah, you know, yelling and everything. And I thought, oh my gosh, I should call 911. And I said, Surely other people have called this in because, like, there were, I saw people taping it on, 
She said no one has. And <laughs> people, then I thought, oh my God, what if people would rather for film some reason it. that driver opens the door because he seemed completely insane. I mean, he was pounding, he was screaming, open the door, open the door. And that's what, then I started to think, oh my God, if she would open, because then the 911 operator said, do you seem to have a weapon? And I said, oh no, I don't, I don't think he had a weapon. And why was he doing it? And I said, I don't know. I just came upon the whole scene as he jumped on the thing. And then I thought, oh my God, if she would stupidly open the door. She said, do you think he would hurt anybody? And I said, she's assuming that the bus driver was a female, but it wasn't, it was a male. Oh yeah, I think he would. He was crazy. I said, he, I definitely think he wouldn't. 68 year old Lee Vern Arden Duran might be a little crazy, but he did take riding in the front of the bus to a whole different level. He was charged with disturbing the peace, disorderly conduct, obstructing a school bus driver, mm. and destruction of property after he wrenched open the doors of the bus oh. while the bus was stopped at a red light. According to a witness, he then got onto the bus to confront the driver. Oh. The driver then sent the quote, extremely terrified children to the back of the bus. Many hid underneath the seats. All charges were dropped, except the obstructing a school bus driver charge, and the case ended without a criminal conviction. He was sentenced to just one day of Oh my gosh. Probation. According to his attorney, he has no criminal history and worked for 18 years as a teacher in Baltimore public schools. Maybe that's why he felt entitled about it. Um about the whole school thing. Maybe that's why he was just, cause I don't think anybody's like, oh, I'm gonna jump on a school bus. Maybe because he was a teacher that he thought he could get away with it. I don't know. Uh, one day of supervised visit. That's a little ridiculous. Do you, you think he deserved to get arrested or was he right for jumping onto a moving school bus with children on it? He's lucky he didn't get a bunch of endangering charges for endangering children's safety because as many kids as is on that bus, I would have hit him. If it was me, I would have hit him for every single charge for those kids. Like, that's so dangerous. What a situation that he's putting these kids in by trying to do this. Just because someone threw a bottle at him. I, like, it didn't even damage your car. I'm not saying it's right, but it's not. It's definitely not acceptable. This isn't acceptable. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, maybe check out this video and come back tomorrow if we're watching something else. See you then.